everybody. I just came to you tonight to give you a few updates on how things are going as far as me heading out on my adventures. And we've got the house is sold and we'll be doing the signing of the paper or signing of the title. I mean, in a money exchange tomorrow afternoon. Then I have till the 8th to be out of this place and be ready to either head out or go visit a few people before I leave the state of Wisconsin. We've had some more snow and cold the past two days. We had a whole month that we didn't think we was going to have anymore. It was like in the 50s in the daytime, just beautiful. And turn around and here we've had a couple nights. As far as what I can tell on the forecast, for the next, I guess all the way up to the 4th that I can tell of their forecast, we're going to be at least 30 at night. There's going to be two nights that are going to be below that. I think on the 4th they're talking like 17 degrees. So it prevents me from having to put some stuff in the camper that I don't want to freeze. So that's put a little bit of a hindrance in the move. I've been getting things together because... Next Friday will be my moving sale, which I'm having inside. So I'm trying to arrange to where I can still temporarily live in here, but yet set things up so everybody will be able to get around, look at stuff, buy stuff. On the RV, up to date. Got my driver's license up to date because they expire this September, so might as well go ahead and get that taken care of so it's done out of the way. My glasses keep putting the glare on the screen, but. I guess it's the way the above light is. It's not the best lighting, but right now I'm just using my computer camera. And then I've got the insurance. I did join the AARP since I turned 50. I'm eligible. So I guess as far as AARP is concerned, I'm a senior. <laughs> and never thought that day would be coming, I, especially this soon. It seems like all of a sudden I'm 50. I had my yearly checkup done. Uh, the doctor says that my health is good. My heart and everything sounds good. The, the valves, my blood pressure, which is always a little lower than normal. It's always been that way, so that's okay. My thyroid, since I have no thyroid no more, they killed it uh, back in 07. So I have to take a daily medicine to function for my thyroid. And the medicine that I've been on has been great, and my system's been holding steady. I've got my medicines transferred over to Walgreens, so no matter where I am in the U.S., where I decide to go, I'm able to refill my medicines with no problem. Saturday, the dogs go in for the rabies shot. Talking to a few really nice people that I've met through some of these RV sites on Facebook couple of them have been really interesting and we've chat for a while and we've talked and to really interesting people. I'm glad to say that I've met them so far and I hope we stay in touch. Uh, let's see. What other updates? There's just so many things to think of when you're trying to do this transition from living in a larger place down to a smaller place. Trying to get it all gathered up time limit. I've got to get a deep cycle battery yet for the RV. I'll probably wait to have that put in until I get down to my brother's in Elkhorn, my older brother. He actually works for an RV place, so that might be good for him to kind of briefly look over it for me. The motor runs great. It's had some checkups to it done before I received it and bought it from a neighbor lady. Um, eventually I have to do a little work on the inside, but it's nothing really serious. It had a little leakage at one time, but that ain't nothing that can be fixed. I got up there last year and I fixed it, all the leaks and stuff. Did some repair work on it. The toilet was leaking. I took it completely off after I called and found out how much they wanted for the piece to fix it. And it was... Something up in like 70, 80 bucks just for a, a little, like a rubber plunger thing. So that, I got the book out and was looking at it and thought, there ain't much to this. I mean, it's, there's inside that plastic toilet, there's a couple of hoses, a couple of clamps, 
little rubbers. It's really nothing. And the parts, I went to a hardware store, took some pieces that I had to match up, told them what I wanted it for. They helped me out. It was like five or six bucks for the parts. I put it back together. Never had a problem since. It works great. As opposed to almost $100. I'm a pretty good fixer-upper DIY and enjoy being able to repair stuff rather than pay the outlandish price that some people want. If I can't do it, I'll ask for help or I'll get online and do some research and see if I can do it. But two weeks to go. Oh, I almost forgot. I got my little camera today so I won't have to use the phone and have them black lines on the side. But I got me a Gear Pro. It doesn't have a hookup mic to it, but it has a microphone on it. But here's my little Gear Pro. Gear Pro Action Camera. It has the on and off. It has a little hole right there for a mic. That's the microphone. And then it has on the sides where you can hook in to your computer. And the other side is, it's a rechargeable battery already inside it. It's like USB ports in there. And this side, oh, it has HDMI. So you're able to actually take this and hook it up to your smart TVs and stuff to actually watch it on the television screen, which is pretty cool. It has a little screen on the back. Let's see if I turn this on. I'm still learning about it, so I guess we'll learn together. I think that's the on button. I'd turn around and get the right button. <laughs> Let me see which one. Oh, this one. Let me make sure I get it on. Then I'll turn it around and show you. There it goes. As you can see, it says no memory card. No memory. I had forgot to order the card when I bought the camera. It was $59 from Amazon, so I had to reorder to get uh, the SD card. It has movie, and it has car mode, and it has picture mode. So you can do three different types of things. It even tells you goodbye. It also came with a really neat little waterproof case. That's, yep, yeah, everything is waterproof. Even where you turn it on and off, buttons there, they're sealed. You can still put in your adapter on the bottom. The only thing is when it's in the waterproof case, the microphone is on top, so you won't be able to hear it. It'll probably be more muffled or something. But I'm waiting for the SD card to be able to try it. It came with some other gadgets, a uh, stand, little tri a little tripod stand thing, and a belt clip to hold it on a belt or a helmet. It came with uh, one to clip on like handlebars or some kind of a bar or something. And I also ordered one of those monopod, I think, uh, monopod, so that way you can stretch it out and see that way. So I'm quite in quite excited to give that a shot and give it a try and see how the video quality is. I didn't go for a GoPro because price wise and if something happens to this I'm not too worried. I have other means to do in some videos but I'm going to start with this and go from there. And I also made me up some little cards. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. If I can hold it still. It's got the dog's names on it, Peanut, Digger, and Chaos. And it has my Facebook, my YouTube, and my blog. While I'm out meeting people, when I'm out at campgrounds and I meet people, uh, get to know people, I just thought it's a good way to exchange information, like if you want to keep in touch with somebody, or you want to read about their adventures, or 
just hang out with them on, on their Facebook. Uh, it's a good way to be able to remember instead of jotting it down and trying to remember what you did with that paper. So I thought it was an interesting idea I decided to do. So if you meet me and you get one of those, you'll know who I am. <laughs> but I guess that's all for the updates. One week to go for the moving sale. And then after the moving sale, it will be just a few more days. I'm all excited and I will probably start the adventure of the new camera soon. Maybe take some pictures of the dogs and let you meet all them as far as the personality. And we'll talk to you later.